Hey everybody, this is Cash Sports. Before we get into the video, please show some gratitude, like the video, subscribe, and even comment under the video to let us know what you think in regards to our conversations. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Debo Samuel requesting a trade from the San Francisco 49ers. So, in recent news, Autumn, the, uh, Debo Samuel has requested a trade from the San Francisco 49ers and there's been news that's been speculating that it's not about the money. Demo Samuel simply just wants to get traded and he doesn't want to be with the 49ers anymore. What's your take on this situation with Debo Samuels wanting to be traded? Well, I'm not den denying that he wants a trade. They did use him poorly while well, having a terrible QB on their team. He had a historical season last year. Oh, all of that don't to go to nothing because how poorly the team used him. Uh, let me stop you there because I wouldn't say they used him poorly. I mean, honestly, they used him the best way they could. You know, um, I mean, I think where his arg what part of his argument was, he didn't want to be used as a running back. In that aspect, even though it was working, you get what I'm saying. So, and then it worked because with Debo Samuel, he was literally the grind for this team. I mean, from the beginning of the season to the end of the season, he did everything for that San Francisco offense in terms of rushing, in terms of receiving, in terms of sometimes even kick returning, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So where there's speculation with Debo Samuel leaving the San Francisco 49ers, what people didn't hear, because I followed his, uh, there was like a video that was speculating, and he said people were sending him death threats, <laughs> uh, and he replied to it. Mm -hmm. And so... I mean, I kind of got, I think that's kind of like, uh, from that perspective, he was probably like, you know what, F y'all, mm -hmm. y'all not real fans, I'm getting out of here, in that aspect. And so, and then there's other news speculating where the 49ers were trying to pay him like a running back. And so, the biggest question is, Debo's durability and how long is his career gonna last with the punishment that he's been taking? Because the way he runs, he's bro, he's like a he's like a running back. <laughs> he's like a linebacker playing running back and receiver. Like he can takes a lot of shots though, but the way he runs, it's like honestly I've never seen a player like Debo. There's very rare players I've seen like Debo mm -hmm. to be able to get the ball and do anything with it. And so I, I, I think the 49ers are in trouble here. They are. So what do, you, what do you think in regards to that? I do agree that they're in trouble. They're, Debo is one of the best players of all time, I'd say. Well, I think there's still more time to say that he's one of the best players of all time. But he has some all-time numbers. Like... Yeah. I'm well, telling you, I'm like he I'm, accounted for twenty eight percent of the forty nine or so offensive total, which was the fourth highest percentage by any player oh, in the yeah. NFL. Yeah, because he was the offense. He was literally the forerunner, and, and and I have some more feet. So he averaged yards after the catch or yards per catch. He averaged eighteen yards per catch. That was the highest in for any receiver mm -hmm. in the twenty twenty one season. Right? So that's including Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup, DeAndre Hopkins, and a multitude of receivers. So he was the best player in terms of yards per catch. So I think this is this is crazy. Because simply for the fact that this relationship with Debo on the Niners, it works so well. Because when you have a coach like Shanahan who's utilizing Debo, who's giving him these uh, these, sweep, uh, these sweep plays, 
-hmm. and throwing these uh, short passes. And Debo's able to get yards after the catch, catch the ball, run the ball, kick return. Like he's the ultimate playmaker for that team. And so given what you've seen last year, and now that you have Trey on a rookie contract, because he's only going into his second year, I think this is the best time to pay Debo Samuel. But the question is, how much are they going to pay him? But I think he is worth the pay because he's the best player on that team. I mean, he was there when the 49ers went to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. I mean, just in the past couple of years because, you know, he was drafted by them. So obviously, you know, right? but given that, it's irrefutable at this point to say that Debo Samuels is the best player on the 49ers. So this particular situation is really crazy. But where do you think he's going to fall? Hmm. To be honest, I think you fall with the Patriots. They obviously haven't been as good without Tom Brady. And Mac Jones does need you know, this tier one receiver on his team. And I think with them together, they could bring the glory back to the bat. I don't know about that simply because it's not in Bill Belichick's nature, you know? Uh, he went out and actually paid for a lot of, you know, he, he paid some receivers this year. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just not the Patriot way. It's not within Bill Belichick's DNA for him to trade for players and then pay them. Because now with the receiver market, with the way it is now, which you have, when you have Devontae Adams and Tyreek Hill making $100 million in their contract, for a player like, or for a GM like Bill Belichick, he's the type of guy to draft a player like Debo and then trade him after his rookie deal. <laughs> So I just, even though it would be, it would probably be the best fit, mm -hmm. I don't know if the Patriots do it. Well, who do you see him with? I think, personally, I, I can see him with the Chargers. Mm -hmm. I think the Chargers are a good enough team to trade for him. And I think they have enough to trade for him. I mean, if you're the Chargers, you still have Justin Herbert on a rookie contract, you upped your defense. I mean, I would give up some pieces for, for Debo Samuel, but it depends on the right pieces. Maybe give up some draft capital mm -hmm. um, because you already have your QB. I feel like the Chargers were already a good enough team. They could have made the playoffs. But now if you, dra if you trade for a guy like Debo Samuels, now it, it puts you in, in the forefront to compete with teams like Chiefs, Raiders, Broncos, because that division is definitely up in the running, mm -hmm. and it could be anybody's. It could be anybody's game. So, just from that aspect alone, I think the Chargers could be a very good fit. Now, in some aspects, I mean, I was hearing some things with the Cowboys. I think Cowboys would definitely be a good fit too, but they just paid. Dak Prescott, and they paid Ezekiel Elliott, mm -hmm. and then a couple of years you gotta pay C.D. Lamb. Mm -hmm. So, and a couple of years you gotta pay Trayvon Diggs, if they see it that way, if he's good enough for him to be paid max dollars as a cornerback. So, the Cowboys, I mean, they did give up Amari Cooper, so that did free up some sort of cap space. But the biggest question is how much is Debo willing to give up for a team-friendly deal or how much is he going to get paid? But despite that, I mean, me personally, if you're the Niners, you pay Debo. I would pay Debo. I think this is the best opportunity to pay Debo because you're not paying your quarterback. Mm -hmm. And so we've already had this discussion about QBs, QB pay, QB salaries, and their percentage other salary 
uh, from the team. And so I just think this is an opportunity that the Niners should take. I mean, you got to pay Debo. I would if I'm if I'm the Niners GM, I would lose sleep because you don't have an identity as an offense without Debo, Debo Samuel. You don't. Your future is up in the air with Trey Lance. Now I'm not saying Trey Lance is a bad quarterback, but I would want Trey Lance to play his first full season with a player like Debo. Because now you can kinda he can kinda hide behind somebody like Debo and take advantage of that. Just like Jimmy just like porn star Jimmy <laughs> has been playing behind everybody on his team on offense. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, I mean Debo's gonna leave regardless. I think he leaves regardless. I think he made it very clear. He deleted all his pictures, you know, all his stuff that he was associated with the 49ers from his social media accounts. So it's looking done deal. I even saw a tweet where a 49ers fan said that they wanted to, or they said trade him. Mm-hmm. And then Debo, Debo Samuel's brother replied under that fan's comment. He said, don't worry, we're going to request the trade. <laughs> so... I definitely feel like this is this might be a couple steps back uh, for, the 40, for the 49ers. But given the draft is going to take place next week, this is the perfect opportunity for the 49ers to get good compensation. Because this draft is kind of deep when it comes to receivers this year. But do I think any of these players are Debo Samuel? Absolutely not. And so that's why I say 49ers pay Debo, man, because he is their offensive identity. And I don't care what anybody thinks. He is. So with that being said, this concludes the end of this video. Remember to like, comment, and please subscribe if you want more Cash Sports. Stay tuned. See you next time.